Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In previous video, we have implemented Delete Employee REST API. In this video, we are going to see how to consume the Delete Employee REST API in our React application. And at a UI level, we are going to add Delete a, you know, button in front of every employee so that user can able to delete a corresponding employee. Okay. So in actions column, we are going to add a delete button. Well, first let's head over to Visual Studio Code ID and let's write a code to make a delete employee REST API call in our React application. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code ID and let's head over to Employee Service. And within Employee Service class, just write the method over here: delete employee and just pass employee ID as a method argument. Okay and again call the axios object and call its method delete we are making a delete http request so call the delete method and pass the url that is employee base rest api url and we need to pass you know id in the url so slash and then append the id that is employee id employee id perfect and save the file and let's go back to list employee component and along with the update button we are going to also add a delete button so let me add a button here along with the update we need to add a button so button and then just close the button and here just add bootstrap css class button button danger all right and uh, we are going to have on click on click event here so once user click on delete button it should be able to call a method okay so let's have on click function within a curly basis let's have an arrow function and the method name something like delete employee and we need to pass the employee id to this method all right make sure that the syntax is correct and just pass delete as a button name now let's go ahead and let's define delete employee method just go up and here let's have our function const and then delete employee all right and just pass employee id as a method argument perfect and just log the id here console dot log and the employee id perfect now let's save the file and go back to browser and you can able to see here delete button is visible but update and delete button both are you know touched here so let's have some margin between these two tables so let me fix that so go to button again and let's write some css to give a margin to this button so let me give style here style within a curly braces object and then margin left let's give 10 pixel save the file and let's go back to browser and you can able to see here we have given margin between these two buttons and uh, now both buttons are looks good perfect so and again we want to check whether this id is available in delete employee method or not for that let me inspect okay go to console and clear the console and click on delete and there we go the employee id 4 is available all right now we can pass this id and we can delete the employee so go to delete employee method again and here get rid of this console.log and here we are going to call employee service and delete employee and we are going to pass employee id ok and then we are going to call then method to handle the promise object a response arrow function and we can also have a catch block to just print the error console.log and just print the error object perfect 
now once user delete the employee user should be able to navigate to the uh, list of employees uh, table right so after deleting employee we need to call get all employees method so if you can see here within a use effect hook we have written this code and similar code we want within this within this method so instead of writing the same code let me you know write the common code so for that i'm going to write here one method const okay and uh, let's say method name get employees and this should be a arrow function okay and let me quickly copy this code okay and let me copy this code and let me paste within this and just call this method within a use effect hook okay perfect now same method we can call here in a response of delete employee method looks good isn't it great now save the file now let's go back to browser and let's see whether our delete employee functionality is working or not go to browser refresh and let's say we want to delete employee 8 now go ahead and click on delete and there we go employee with id 8 is deleted now let's go and let's try to delete employee id 10 employee with id 10 and there we go let's delete one more employee there we go it means that we have successfully implemented delete employee functionality